I want to make a short video to explain how to use numbered section headings in a document and also how to create an automatic numbering scheme for inline equations. Well, I should say professional equations as they're called in uh, Microsoft Word. But to use numbered equations out to the right of the equation that's in display mode, uh, you need to combine the automatic numbering with something in Word that's called a style separator. And the style separator is a, a key sequence to combine two different styles of text on the same line. First of all, you always want to make use of the headings in Microsoft Word, uh, no matter how long or short your technical document might be. But uh, for example, to make a heading that says uh, this is the first level and you want that to be heading one style. There you go. Uh, now you want uh, heading two to be uh, and then finally uh, and so this may be fine for a short technical document but often you want these to be numbered and, and perhaps to have these numbers uh, telescope so that the highest level is 1, the next level is 1.2, next level is 1.3 and so forth. To do that, uh, you can do that by using multi-level lists. I think this is one of the more obscure um, features in Microsoft Word and that is how to make these headings numbered. But to do that you're going to make reference to these heading styles that you have over here and um, you go into the multi-level list and you indicate that you want to use uh, a numbering scheme either like this one that, that I prefer where they're all numbers uh, or they can be numbers and letters and numbers and letters. They can all be reconfigured but, but the default option here of uh, level 1 and then the first level below that is 1.1 and then the first one below that is, is 1.11 and so forth is, is what uh, actually the way, the way I would use them. So this is just how to then have uh, sections um, that, uh, that are separated this way. So uh, if you have Microsoft Office 365, the dictation uh, feature is very powerful and is pretty accurate, almost as good as uh, Google in terms of interpreting uh, words and converting them to text. So uh, I'll, I'll give it a try here. Uh, this text is just being dictated using the tools in Microsoft Word, period, uh, new paragraph. Another way to do this would be to type all of these words that I'm speaking one by one, period. So uh, I, I think that's a, a, pretty, a pretty powerful uh, feature uh, in, in the Microsoft Office 365 that can be used if you're able to uh, speak your thoughts coherently, which uh, sometimes I have trouble doing. In any case, uh, going on to the main topic here, uh, and that is to talk about how to number equations. Uh, 
to number equations, I, I, I use the, the math type to generate equations, and I think it's it's it, it's a a non-standard feature that you can purchase to add in to Microsoft Word, but but what I'm saying here can also be used with the native uh, Microsoft Word equation editor. Uh, I just prefer the math type one, and, and it's a little bit uh, easier to, to say that. Um, oh, um, how about p is equal to uh, pi d squared, right? The area area of a, of a circle or something. Um, well, I, that wouldn't quite be the area of a circle, would it? That'd be four times the area of a circle. Pi d squared over four. Uh, I'll get it right eventually. That's the area. Let's just use that. That's fine. So if that's the area for the circle, and we want to number an equation. Now, now I already have tab stops set up here at uh, five, one inch in the center and at the, the end. So I normally want that equation number to be out here at the far end. Now, um, you can do this using A caption and you can use one of the um, default captions meaning I think there's one for that see there's a couple that I've created here and, and I'll talk about that in a minute but there's one called equation I believe it is and uh, you have the option to uh, what level of numbering to use. You can either have it follow the first uh, level, the second level, the third level, uh, whichever you want. The default is to follow the first level, but maybe you want to you want to go with uh, he heading two. So I don't know what happens here if we're just in heading one when we do this, but um, uh, well, let's not try that for now. Okay, so uh, and I don't prefer the hyphen. You can change it to a, a period to separate those numbers. And um, so if, if we do this, and I'll, I'll show you, uh, well, so, so in, uh, I think this is the way that Microsoft Word might expect you to put a caption on a equation and that is to put it literally you know, below the equation as you would caption a, a figure for example but if you want to uh, combine these together on one line uh, you, you can um, you, you might You might try just uh, deleting this and putting that up there, and, and uh, th that that seems like it might work. But if you now wanted to um, reference that. Is a cross reference. I'm not sure what will happen here, um, but let's look at equation and equation 1 1. And if we say that we want the entire caption, let's just put only the label and number. Yeah, and this is what I expected happens is that once you put that equation number up here uh, on the same line this entire line becomes the the label and the number for that equation so you can reference it and but, but when you do uh, as I said it brings in the whole equation and that's generally not what you want you just want the equation equation number 
okay? So, um, instead of doing that, let's go back and split this back up. I guess I'm just going to do it over again. So, if we insert a, a caption and we say, well, this is our equation. Well, this, this is the standard one that comes in, in Microsoft uh, Excel. And the numbering, we're still on heading one. Okay, so, so, so there's equation one, one. If we now use this style separator, it's called, what, what, what you do is you put this first line of text, which is normal text, and, and the one following it is a different style. It's actually, let's go back to the, the home, and you can see that, that this, uh, the one that's highlighted here, is actually caption text, right? That's what it's going to use to, to put the text here. That's a caption style. But up on this line, this is, this is normal style. And we want to combine those two on, on one line so they appear on the same line. And we can force a separation of those styles by using a key sequence, a keystroke sequence, control, alternate, enter. And when we now put control, alternate, enter as that style separator, you can see that the two lines are combined into one line. And, um, and I should have mentioned, I always use these paragraph marks on to show the formatting, right? And that's what these funny marks are all over the page. But, but that funny mark there, that paragraph mark, is a little different from the standard paragraph mark. And so uh, this one is the style separator. And you can see that visually if you have these paragraph marks uh, turned on. So uh, the reason to, to do this, as, as I said, is a little bit cumbersome. But the reason to do this is um, now when you want to insert a reference to this, you can do so without bringing in the whole equation. So we can do that by saying the area for a circle is given in. And now if we go to our references and say we want to insert a cross-reference, and the cross-reference is in the equation list. And uh, I think we could do entire caption at this point. So let's just try that. Yeah, so it brings in basically the label. Equation was the label for that uh, style. And, and then it has the number, 1.1. And, and so uh, if for some reason we now went back and, and added another equation ahead of this, oh, uh, let's use the equation editor, I guess, to be fair. Um, so I'm going to insert a math type equation that says p is equal to uh, pi uh, d. Uh, so now that is the perimeter of a circle. And if we now uh, insert, you know, the same way, we're going to leave the equation on one line. We're going to come below it and go to references and insert a caption. And the caption we want to insert is capital equation 1.1. And um, everything should be good there. If we now join these together, control, alternate, enter, you can see the benefit of doing this is as you add and delete equations as you're generating the document, these will automatically renumber according to the style that you've chosen. And um, at first glance, it seems that this is not renumbered here, but, but you need to either uh, update this field or when you repaginate the document, it, it'll re renumber everything automatically. So um, this is very powerful and allows a technical document with lots of equations to be generated and tracked for, uh, as, as things are updated. Uh, so that the equations uh, renumber. Uh, now, I don't care anything really for this this style of labeling, which is built into Microsoft Word. This capital equation as a uh, uh,
caption type it is built in just like figure or table is but you can create your own and uh, that's what I have done and, and you might have seen that up here is we can um, say that we want to uh, first of all in order to do that you have to say you want to insert a caption I don't know of a way to get to this dialog box except to say insert a caption but this dialog box will allow you to also uh, create an, a new label uh, for example right here new label now I'm going to try to create one that I've already got and I, I just I used a parenthesis open parenthesis to to start this label you could really use anything because um, and I guess for numbering I'm going to say to follow uh, I, I, I'm not going to let's just do it this way uh, let's call this a uh, new label and we'll just call it E for equation and um, the reason I'm going to get away with that is because I'm going to say exclude the label from the caption I don't want it to put the label there just put the number and then furthermore uh, I'm going to ask that the chapter numbers be included and that we use that second level heading and that we use a period and so by requesting that we eliminate this label this this label that I've used it, it, it doesn't matter it, it won't it won't be included and so now if we uh, include that number normally when I have the equation out to the right in a technical document I want to have the parenthesis around it so you can just add those parentheses and I don't have an equation here but um, maybe we could insert another one and just say um, uh, I don't know Just some equation and now if we join these using the control alternate enter and, and now these are numbered at the uh, using the third uh, sorry the second level 1.1 level uh, I guess there's no 1.0 there's only um, starts at 1.1 here so I don't know what happens if we uh, replicate this down below. I may get to be a little confusing. I think uh, update. Yeah, I don't think we can have two equations. One point one. So I think maybe uh, I'll change my mind and say I shouldn't follow the second level heading. I'll follow the first level heading and so if I want to change my mind again the only way I know to get to this dialog box is to say that we want to insert a cap insert a caption but um, what I want to do is go in here now and change this numbering and so instead of following heading two I want to follow heading one and so When I do that, as you can see, automatically these uh, numbered equations, the numbers of these equations update to the new style format. So this idea of having um, a caption, if you will, for the equations gives you a lot of flexibility and power to uh, change the formatting later without having to manually renumber all your equations or to insert or delete equations without having to manually uh, renumber all of the equations. I'll mention one more thing and then I'll, I'll quit. 
and that is that you can, you know, sometimes you want to have the idea of uh, equation, um, A, B, and C. You know, you have three different equations that are sort of related, and you want this one to be uh, e equation uh, A. Now, you saw what I did. I just literally copied these over, and you might think, oh, well, then I can just go in here and call this 1.2B and 1.2C. But, but when, when I correctly uh, renumber these, You can see that now it's not what I want. I've got 1.2a, 1.3b, and 1.4c. So if I want these to all be the same, I, I can, instead of using the um, style separator and a new label, I just want to reference that first label. I want to insert a caption, sorry, insert a cross reference to that previous caption. And so I want to insert a uh, cross-reference and, and, and the easiest thing to do is I'll always just get the uh, label and number but I need that for equation 1.2a and when I insert equation 1.2a using only the label and, and number uh, I get the first part but I want this one to be uh, excuse me gotta close this I want this one to be 1.2b and then I want to have this one down below here be 1.2c. So now I can copy this down here because that's just a reference to that same tag. And if I if I update all of these um, fields, there now I have my equation 1.2a, 1.2b, 1.2c. And 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 then you can reference these, again, you have to be a little bit uh, more careful, but uh, let's call these, uh, well, it's easier for me to talk. These three equations are all the same. That is equations I guess I would do it this way. I would say E EQS with a period, but then I, I could either refer to them as equations um, 1.2, or I could put 1.2a, b, c, and, and you can do that by uh, referring to uh, again cross reference, and you go into the list of what you've created. I called it capital E here. And I want only the label and number for 1.2a. And and so, so um, I could say these equations 1.2 and refer to ABC obliquely there by just having the equation 1.2, which has the parts A, B, and C, uh, or I can refer to each one of those um, yeah I got too many parentheses going there 1.2a I mean I have to manually you know uh, provide the ABC part at this point um, but But, but, but you could do it this way. And, and again, if you now insert equations above and below that, if that becomes equation 1.5, then these will all change to 1.5 ABC. If you insert another uh, letter, ABC, you know, 1.2D, 1.2E, you have to manually carry that around. But I think it still gives you a significant amount of flexibility that you can use to to number your equations. All right, I think uh, I, I, I think that's what I've got to share with you about um, using the uh, tools in Microsoft Word to automatically number equations using uh, section headings, and then to use the cross-referencing of the captions 
to refer to the equation numbers in your document.